Terry's house. They got the restrooms in there. You got to take care of your business. <laughs> we'll be uh, having a quick chat here, and at 10 o'clock, we will ask everybody to come out and do our iconic photo on the porch of Terry's house. It's our signature of this event every year. At about 10:15, we'll be kick stands up. So we got about 15 minutes between photo line up and get the hell out of here. You got your first sign of uh, directions. It's going to be to O'Sullivan's, but you could probably just follow the bikes and we'll get you over there. After that, we got maps, we got signage along the way. Nobody's going to get lost. And I want to stress, ride your own ride at your own pace. Okay, everybody? We want to have fun. It's not about egos today. It's all about this charity cause. And uh, before I have much more else to do, I want to read something to you. Got this thank you note, and it came from the Davidson family. We were in Suite 201, which has a window view of the train tracks. The trains provided great entertainment for our boys. They had an Amtrak schedule and would wait by the window in great anticipation. Our boys enjoyed it. Terry's house uh, so much that they didn't want to leave. Thank you so much for supporting Terry's house. We came from five hours away and could not afford a hotel for the two weeks while my dad was here. We were so blessed by the room. <laughs> the kind staff, the kitchen, the donated food, the books, the movies, the computer room, the laundry room, and especially the children's room. For our two uh, boys, seven and four years old, they released a lot of energy there. We were also thankful for the donated toys from the staff, the location by the hospital, so close and so helpful as we visited our dad. It was a stressful time and Terry's help house helped us to relax. Lovingly, the Davidsons. And just one more. Thank you so much for investing in this place, dear Terry's house donors. It made staying in Fresno for my sister's care a reality instead of an impossibility. Everyone has been so nice to us during our stay here. It's been the closest thing we had to a home for the last seven months. Did you hear that? Seven months they stayed here. Some of the staff members became friends, which is something we didn't have in Fresno when we first arrived. Thank you so much from Emily Glenn. And with that, I'd like to have our director of Terry's House just say a few words about this wonderful resource for the community. Krista Short. Good morning, everybody. Woo, Krista! Good morning. Yeah. My little fan club here, thank you. Uh, I am just so thrilled to be here for another year, for the fifth year, uh, and to see so many friendly faces. It's, it's something we look forward to as a team every year to have you guys out here. Uh, our families look forward to it. And I don't know that I could say anything better than the thank you cards that Hell Dog read because we get to live and breathe your generosity every single day. We get to see these families through the most difficult times in their lives. Um, and Terry's House really does become their home away from home. And we couldn't build this place or continue to operate it without donated dollars like you guys are helping us to raise today. The house uh, now has been open for about seven and a half years and we've supported about a thousand families per year. Um, now the house is full every single night with 20 families coming from across the country and across the globe. We've now served all of the United States and we're up to about 32 countries. Um, so these families aren't just traveling down the street for life-saving care, they're coming from great distances and it's, it's our family who has been extended across the globe now. So Terry's House has touched so many people because of your generosity, um, and so we want to wish you a fun day, a safe ride, and we'll just look forward to the dollars that get to go right back into this community. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you, Krista. So as we get ready to take off on our ride, we do have five stops after this one. Uh, we're going to go from the flats to the foothills and back down to the flats to an all-new location for our in-stop. So don't go to the VFW hall or you'll miss us. It's 
something new in our mystery this year. Uh, be careful. I do want to tell you that we are going to end up going up 180 up in the hills. Just before Squaw Valley yesterday, they had a little uh, wait for some construction. Just wait. It took like five minutes for them to clear the lane and we could get on by. And that's the only little blip in the road, but I think we could be patient enough for that, especially on this beautiful day. For those of you who've been with me forever, in 2013 we started the mystery ride and it was 112 degrees. So God, the angels, the, the spirits that be that gave us this blessed weather, we are going to have a great ride today. So. Come on up on the front porch. We'd like to get our picture going and uh, have a happy and safe ride. We'll see you along the way.